Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this mountain balloon illustration. Let's open a new document, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to this shade of blue. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Lock this layer and create a new layer. Now switch to the pen tool or the curvature tool, whichever one you prefer to use. Select a different color and let's draw the first mountain range. Make sure the shape extends beyond the artboard. This will give you more control of repositioning it later on. You can always come back to it and reshape it. Use another color and draw another mountain. And again. Let's create a few more mountain shapes. Next, we will draw a lake. Use the light shade of blue and create a rectangle. With the shape still selected, use the control and left bracket key on your keyboard to send it backwards. Finally, select dark blue and let's create a foreground. If you wish, switch to the selection tool and reposition the shapes or adjust the curves. If you would like to hide everything outside the artboard to see how your illustration will look on the page, first go to View and select Trim View. If you don't have the Trim View option, please see my other tutorial where I show a few ways to hide everything outside the artboard. Now you can still go back, select any shape and adjust it. When you are done, turn off the Trim View. Next, we'll create a shadow. Select a drawing tool of your choice and create a shape that will cover half of the mountain. Then select the mountain and the new shape. Switch to the Shape Builder tool and while you are holding down the Alt key, delete the unwanted shape. And do the same with the other mountains. With the shadow shape still selected, choose a darker blue, open the color window and let's make it a little lighter. Now switch to the eyedropper tool and apply the same color to all the other shapes. Select the foreground mountain and bring it to the front. Next, select the lake shape and we will add a gradient to it. Use the black and white gradient and drag this light blue into the gradient slider. Now adjust its direction. Let's move everything to the side and uncheck the trim view option. Next, we'll create this sun. First, switch to the ellipse tool, select the same color as the background and draw a big circle. Let's create a copy and change its fill to white. Now resize it. Select both circles, go to Object, Blend and choose Blend Options. Set the specified steps to 4. 
go to object again and choose make. Before we can work with these shapes, first we need to expand them. Go to object and choose expand appearance. Go to object one more time and choose expand. Now right click with your mouse and choose ungroup. Let's delete the two smallest circles. Group the rest of them together and place it over our illustration. Now open the layers panel and drag this group down to send it to the back. Let's change its position, ungroup it and if you wish select the largest circle, open the color window and drag the slider to the left to make it a little lighter. Select the small circle and adjust it as well. Next we will add some hot air balloons. If you would like to learn how to create them, please check out my previous tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description below. Now let's create some clouds and birds. First create several overlapping circles, then draw a rectangle and place it over the circles leaving the top half open. Now select everything and using the shape builder tool delete the bottom portion. Connect everything else. Next change the fill to black and draw two overlapping ellipses. Delete the bottom part, switch to the reflect tool, click somewhere here and let's create a copy. Now select both shapes Delete unwanted parts. Then draw a small rectangle and cut the bottom portion. Next select both shapes, go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Now using the direct selection tool select the two bottom anchor points and round the corners. Finally place those two shapes over our illustration, adjust the position, create more copies and scale it down. Now do the same with the clouds. Finally, let's trim everything outside the artboard. Either use the Trim View option or draw a rectangle to cover the artboard. Make sure all the layers are unlocked. Select everything and press the Ctrl and number 7 keys on your keyboard to create a clipping mask. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.